So we carry on with our explanation for chapter two, which is about uh, railway rolling stock. And we discussed section one, which talks about railway rolling stock subsystems. And we discussed bogies, electrical systems, air systems, and other systems. And now we'll be talking in more, in, uh, into more in more details in the other systems that we did not mention. So without further ado, let's start. And We stopped here at doors. So doors is a is a, one of the most important components in any railway systems. And now the standard that automatic doors uh, is, is the standard. And before you would have someone to open the door or someone from the crew uh, to open the doors and close the door. And that was very long time. Now the standard that they are uh, uh, automatic, most probably you would have them uh, 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 opening from the middle before they used to have a sliding door, which you should have a cavity or a, a block door. A block door is the one that I think you open with a handle. So you should be thinking about increased safety. What are the weight that the doors are bringing and the high reliability? What is the value of the reliability that these doors are uh, bringing? Because any failure in these doors would result and impact your operations. Lighting and climate control, another system, every, every, every uh, train, every vehicle should have uh, some, uh, some lighting and, and now LEDs are the most uh, popular and it should be, be working in emergency situation. Climate control like HVAC, heat ventilation and AC, or, uh, and we'll talk a, bit, a little bit about windows. Usually full heating and air conditioning, air conditioning is provided and ventilation systems keep airflow cycles within the vehicle. Windows, you would have double glazed unit that keeps heat inside and uh, uh, and make sure that uh, there is a, uh, energy efficiency within the vehicle. But it's not only that; it can resist one point up to one point five kilojoules, which would help to protect the passengers in case of an accident. Communication and passenger information systems. You can see these small. Uh, screens where it shows wh what is the next destination is going to be and the time and sometimes any other information. This is used to communicate with passengers. Sometimes you would have the driver even speaking through the radio where people can hear it through the speakers. So communication systems and passenger information systems also part of the railway vehicle. Water provision and waste uh, management, water provision system. Sometimes you'd have water tanks. These tanks uh, would be used uh, for tank heaters uh, in cold weather or for other water usages. And uh, the, uh, the water weight sometimes affect the vehicle ride performance, but in many cases you have to provide it. And the waste management, waste management, you'd be thinking about Toilets in intercity trains, it's important to provide toilets and these toilets would be water-based or chemical and they have different types and material. Some countries provide disabled toilets, which many people can use and the waste of these toilets is retained in tanks and when reach the depot, it gets pumped out. Uh, some, uh, some modern waste management systems can be described as heavy and complex. Emergency systems inside the train is very much similar to the ones inside a, a plane. You would have fire extinguishers, first aid kit, emergency door operation, break the win break window hammers uh, or break the window hammers and information brochures. So they break the window hammers, they are small hammers if you, and you hit the window in case of an accident and it might break them if you want to escape. So this was the remaining part of uh, uh, vehicle subsystems. We have just provided an overview of different subsystems and components of a railway vehicle. We'll be discussing body shell materials and construction in the next section. And uh, till then, we leave you uh, with, with, a, a great, uh, uh, with a great greetings and we wish you a great evening. Have a great evening and see you next in the next lesson.